Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today's Thursday, so it's Throwback Thursday time. Today we're going to do a box of 1991 Tops 40 Years of Baseball. I picked up several boxes, well a couple of boxes anyhow, and I'm kind of disappointed in this one. Unfortunately, uh, whenever the individual sent it to me, all he, he didn't send it to me in a box, he just Basically wrapped it up in some yellow, I mean, in some uh, brown shipping paper. Taped it up real good and slapped a uh, postage on it and sent it my way. And unfortunately, it got beat up. And as you can see, the box is not in all that great of a shape, but... What I'm afraid of is the corners on every one of these packs. Looks like they may have got banged up a little bit, but that is to be seen. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, when you purchase something like this, you don't know how they're going to send them. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into the particulars about it. Uh, 1991, there's uh, quite a few notables. Uh, some nice cards in it. You got some value. And let's see, uh, Mark Whitten uh, is one of the error cards. His hand, uh, hand over border. His hands actually reach over the border of the card. As a PSA 10, it's worth about $250. So that would be a definite nice card to pull if it's PSA 10. This one here, I'm not holding my breath on. Uh, then, of course, you got the one and only Chipper Jones. And I do have a nice card of his. This is this should go at least a 9. should be a 10. It all depends. This will be my next one going into PSA to see what I can't pull on it. And generally, they run for about $35 as a PSA 10. But you never know about these 2,000, uh, excuse me, 1991 tops they could be just the tops card or they could be the desert storm with desert storm shield right here you don't know so it could be there it may not be there a lot of times there are in the cello that's why i like picking up the cellos but the odds of it is slim they uh they didn't make a lot of them and most of them went overseas uh to the armed forces but a lot of them made it back here so uh after the uh chipper jones you got of course you got two uh ken griffey uh, cards uh ken griffey base uh number 750 uh it goes for about 35 dollars as a psa 10 800 dollars as a desert storm psa 10 and then your other ken griffey is the uh, I believe Ken Griffey, I want to say record breaker, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's record breaker. It, it's 392 card number. goes for about $20, uh, PSA 10. Desert Storm's about $700. So there's, you can tell the big difference in them. Uh, next one would be a Ken Griffey, I mean, excuse me, a Don Madley, number 100. PSA 10's about a $30 card. Uh, Desert Storm's about a $400 card. Then you have two Nolan Ryan cards, number one and number six. Number one is the base. Uh, goes for about uh, $30 as a PSA uh, 10. $700 for Desert Storm. And then the record breaker, number six, $30 for a PSA 10, $600 for a Desert Storm. Mark McGuire's card, uh, number 270. Goes for about $25 as a PSA 10, uh, $650 as a Desert Storm. Cal Ripken record breaker number five, $20 and $1,500, uh, prospectively, as far as uh, it's the tops PSA 10 and then a Desert Storm. So you can see the big price difference. And you really can't, uh, I've looked and I've tried to see if there's any way you can tell the difference between. The, the base, uh, 1991 tops in Desert Storm. And everyone I've talked to and everyone that I have seen, you can't tell the difference between the box and the 
in the uh, wrappers. Now, there's a lot of them that are still in the uh, the wax paper, uh, the junk wax as you as they're known as, but you just can't tell the difference. So you never know what you're getting. You know, you never know what you're selling. So, and then you have the uh, Ozzy Smith's uh, number one thirty card. It goes for about fifteen as a PSA ten and four hundred as a Desert Storm. So. We'll go ahead and set this aside. Hopefully we can get into some good cars. Hopefully it'll be the Desert Storm box, but I'm not holding my breath to that. I'm just hoping that we're not getting, we don't have a lot of damaged cards. Uh, this box, they're not that expensive, but you know, there's, it's not a, a box you really want to have sent through the mail just with wrapping paper, basically. And you know, I was kind of disappointed in that, but I'm not gonna send it back to the guy because, like I said, there's a lot of uh, you know, bo these boxes are just gonna go up in value. So, you know, I can probably send this back and try to find another one. It's gonna cost me 35, 40 bucks to replace it. You know, I have it in hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Now, on the back of like most tops, uh, they do print. Uh, cards on the bottom of the box and on the inside you can see the back side of the card so the box i wish was in better shape my other box of uh 91s are in a lot better shape it was sent to me in a box so that's one of the good things it's one of my better boxes i just want to open up this one see what uh shape the cards are going to be into so i can let the guy know so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, and hopefully these haven't been searched, and hopefully uh, we can find some decent cards. And with the black spots on this gum, I don't, definitely ain't gonna eat it. So, so here's the big reveal, and it is not a Desert Storm, which I probably figured it wouldn't be. But let's go ahead and see if we can't find uh, the notable cards in this. Uh, since we have quite a few and I'm already in the seven minutes talking about it, we're just going to go blow through it as fast as we can. And hopefully we can find some of the better cards. Uh, Chipper Jones is the most sought, sought after card, if I can speak. So... Yeah, that gun does not look healthy. I may want to wear rubber gloves, but Jeff Hudson and yeah, Jose Canseco. That's a decent card. Mark McGuire. That is definitely a decent card. That. Grades out to a PSA 10. And they're looking pretty good. It looks pretty centered too. I'm really surprised. But that goes to PSA 10. That will be a $25 card. But too bad it's not a Desert Shield, which would be about a $650 card. But we'll go ahead and harp on that and press on with. What we find. This gun does not look very healthy. Greg Olson, Clark, Sandy Elmar. I don't want to go through them too quick. Fred McGrath. I don't want to go through them too quick and miss some of the ones that I'm really looking for.
This is Billy Ripken. I believe it. Ricky Henderson. At least the gum is not staining the cards. Eh, I kind of did stain that one. Larry Walker, Gold Cup. It's a decent card. Gary Pettis. Kenny Rogers. Yeah, I'm afraid there's some mold on most of this gum. May want to go ahead and put some gloves on. There we go. Nice Chipper Jones. And I'm definitely going to have to sleeve that one. Hopefully I won't mess up the, the corner. And I don't know what, about these. Maybe I won't sleeve these. You know, with these sleeves, anyhow, these are awful tight. And I do not want to waste the time and try to hurry through it and yeah these were just too tight so no Larry Walker ah, maybe I've already seen that one That one ain't gonna have all the black spots on it. Juan Gonzalez. It's his second year card. Jim Abbott. A very good pitcher for one hand for one arm. Or one hand, I should say. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murray. King Griffey Sr. Gerald Strawberry. And Carlton Fisk. Record breaker. And so a Sandberg record breaker. Seem to be sealed. It ain't. Don't look like it's been. With the cars that I've gotten so far, it don't look like it's been too searched. One thing about cellos, you can actually see the back card. And if you know the correlation, you can generally pick out who's uh, Chuck Finley, who's in that that pack with that one person. That's Barry Larkin. Rookie Mark Tr Alan Trammell, All Star, and Alan Trammell, Base. Now they're sticking. And like I said, you can see that card right there. They got nice and bent up. Let's just hope it's not. 
Nice malt. There's Sabo and his glasses. Frank Thomas. That's a nice card and it don't look no worse for wear. And the bench up one. It's just common. Still looking for a Nolan Ryan. At least try to get two Nolan Ryan's cards out of here. The uh, base and record breaker. Dave Henderson. Gary Shipfield. And there's still some, you know, not a lot of value to them, but there's still some good cards to be had in this, these boxes. So, Eddie Murray, again, Sammy Sosa, that's a nice card. Doc Vision. Let's finish that pack out. Kind of not sticking, but they ain't sliding very well. The line over the shields, gold cup. There we go, no line, and it's got a dinged up corner. Uh uh uh. Yeah, that would have been a thirty dollar card. So we are going to have some damage to these cards, unfortunately. Hopefully just bare minimum of the cards that will get damaged. Barry Bonds, All-Star. And again, you, know, you take the challenge, you know, take the chance whenever they'll stain on that one. Take the chance whenever you Paul Monitor. Whenever you, uh, you know, that was the card back in the day that everybody was sotting after. Martinez. No one draft pick. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall his name, so I don't believe he did very much. Cease Fielder All-Star. And these corners are getting got a little dinged up, unfortunately. Looks like the one closest to the bottom of the box. But he will definitely, I will keep the cards, but he will definitely uh, not get a very favorable Rating from me, that's for sure. I don't like giving 
a negative feedback, but I will give a neutral and explain why I'm giving a neutral a lot, a lot more than I see a lot of people do. They just give a neutral sand and all the cards with it. All that greater and cards, you know, whatever reason to get. I will give a detail explanation while I'll, I'll give a neutral. But I will first give him a, I will email him and let him know that it's not a way to be sending a box of cards. You know, like I said, there's not a lot of value in cards. It didn't cost me a lot. I think this box only cost me about $30, but still $30, you know. Ruben Sierra, that's a nice one. John Oluru, another nice card. You know, if we come across, you know, if this was a, a box of Desert, Desert Storm, and Desert Shield, I think that's what it was, Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Now, if it was a box, I would really be disappointed. And he probably would do, not knowing that he sold one, sorry about that. Berto Alamar again. Tony Sorda. And we're halfway through, the, through this box. Valentine, Joe Torrey, you know, a lot of managers. And Kirby Puckett, that's a nice card. That's what the gum is staying on it. Frank Robinson, manager. And we're down to three and a half minutes. it up just a little bit for you so we get to the end of it you never know what we're gonna run into Jose Canseco all-star it's another good card Seems like they're sticking more than ones on top and bottom. Lee Smith. Andy Van Slyke. Randy Johnson. The big unit. Another game, 
for the gum stain card. Checklist. Tino Martinez. Uh, Snixon. Greg Vigio, it's another nice card. Julio Franco, yeah, the Rangers, All Star. Yeah, All Star. Now that one didn't stick, and but it's still a stain. Uh, I can get, I quit being so clumsy. Cease the Fielder, Will Clark, Kurt Gibson. Tom Glavin. That was a nice pack there. Quite a few stars. Hall of Famers. Future star, Lance Dixon. Don't recall him at all. Greg Jeffries, decent card. Robert Yount, another good card. Oh, down the last pack, last stack, I mean. And another Chipper Jones, Pete Incavillia, another Chipper Jones, and those corners don't look too bad, I'm not going to try to sleeve it, not with these sleeves I picked up, Tony Gwynn, Kevin Moss, Deckard, uh, Dennis Eckersley, Ryan Sandberg All Star, another Nolan Ryan, got both Nolan Ryan's out of that, I believe. Pragmatics. That's a decent card. This gum is not <laughs> does not look healthy at all. Packers uh, Gold Cup. Chuck Finley. Two Chipper Jones rookies are very nice. That was 
kind of hoping that it was a better storm packs, but mm, it ain't Barry Larkins. Next snow, another product from Fisk. Breaker Breaker. Another Nolan Ryan record breaker. Chuck Finley. Pragmatics. Four packs counting this one. Now we're 30. Over 30 and 31 and a half minutes. And that pack was just a little bit of a dud. I can't complain. That's the cards I'm pulling out of this box. Even the damage cards. Still a good box. This email the guy. Maybe he'll, uh, hopefully he'll put another John Old Rue. Let's start putting them in boxes instead of Shane Andrews, one draft pick. Felix Gold Cup, Cease Fielder All Star, Barry Bonds, All Star. Two packs left. Pretty good. Chipper Jones, not, not damaged, which is. Very fortunate. Another John Smoltz. And the last pack. And let's see if we can get one more Chipper Jones out of it. Being nice. David Henderson. Go to Sheffield. Little Strawberry. And no, but we did get a lot, uh, quite a few hits. Well, what I call hits, nice cards: John Smoltz, East Fielder, Barry Larkins, Greg Maddox, Ryan Sandberg, Greg Jeffries. Not so much, but Tom Glevin's a good one. Kirk Gibson, Will Clark, and Cecil Fielder. Plus two, Chipper Jones, Jose Seiko. And a Gary Puckett. You got two All Star Barry Bonds cards. And three Nolan Ryans. One record breaker. Two record breakers. And one base. Get a better look at that one. And a Frank Thomas. A Larry Walker Gold Cup. Alano of the Shields Gold Cup. Sammy Sosa. And Jim Abbott.
Uh, they're not worth a lot of money. Ricky Henderson. It's just to bring back some of the some memories from back when we Robert Yaunt, Greg Biggio, Aaron Johnson, Mark McGuire, Jose Caseco, and King Griffey Sr. So, no King Griffey's, no Ozzy Smith's, no Don Madley's, but I have another box of it, and I may do it in about a month or so. We may turn into it and see what we can find. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. First time viewer, if you lasted this long, I appreciate it, and thank you very much. Uh, if you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and... Hit that notification bell to get all my upcoming videos. Like I said, we got some uh, 2016 Optic Football with some that was a good rookie year. Uh, we have uh, a 90 uh, Tops coming up. Uh, and I believe we have a uh, Donruss uh, Blaster Box at uh, 19... Again, another 2016, so nice rookies. So please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, y'all have a good day and a good night.